okay you here for a reason you want to start a youtube channel right well you better pay attention because i'm only going to say this once period i ain't playing just watch so hey you guys it's your girl elixir monroe aka e you know where we keep it really deep real and you are tuned in to my channel if you are new here hi my name is elixir monroe and if you're a returning subscriber what's popping boo <laughs> so i hope you guys have been well i hope you guys have been great um and i'm sure you understand in the video this video is pretty much short and sweet just like all my other videos i'm getting straight to the point sis so please pay attention <clears throat> okay the key on just pretty much starting a youtube is just getting started if you already have in your mind that you want to start just start like literally just start you're not really going to see any fruits of your labor until you do so and then when you do you have to be consistent <laughs> jesus lord knows I Alexis is not good with the consistent. However, if you, um, the first start as far as after knowing you want to start a YouTube channel is just pretty much knowing what exactly you want to talk about. What exactly do you want to talk about? What is your niche? What do you like to do? What do you think other people can relate to that you can build a following? Um, that will be the second step um, after just getting started. The second step is just pretty much knowing exactly what you want to um, have videos about, content about, uh, informational videos, uh, funny videos, singing videos, anything, um, whatever is suitable for you, something that you like, uh, the niche that you like, that's the type of people you want to be able to attract to be able to like and subscribe and comment, and it will always, you know, be your loyal base fans, you know. Um, the third thing I would say is pretty much, look, when I first started, I had an iPhone 8 Plus, okay? I had an iPhone 8 Plus. Okay, and baby, that mug was bent up and bent out. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, it was so raggedy, but baby, I made it do what it do. And hey, people managed to still watch my videos. I mean, you have to use what you have to get what you want. And that's just literally with anything, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, pretty much, you can just pretty much start off getting you a phone or an iPad. <laughs> And pretty much starting out, like literally all I had was my iPhone 8 Plus. Y'all see how much raggedy this is? I was using my iPhone 8 Plus. My first two, three videos, I was using my iPhone 8 Plus. You can't even tell. <laughs> but then again, you probably could. But then, um, but like I said, you don't even, as long as you have it horizontal, yo, you know, yo, your lighting is good it's set up and your focus mainly on you even if you have like a setup like with me my niche is pretty much fashion and modeling a little bit of beauty but i don't do makeup but i let you know i'm representing something in fashion with my clock with my with my hanging rack right here oh, i have my hanging rack with my clothes um i have like my vase i have my books and then i just have my little accessory you know fedora here I have my little accessory mannequin here. And so it's just pretty much my niche. Like, it's just something that me, having my wine glass, like me, I'm a bougie bitch. I'm a classy bitch. I got to stay drunk. Okay, I'm not drunk. I'm sober, okay? <laughs> but seriously, like, I have to have, like, you know, just create something that's you um, for your background. And when you have a lighting, you can create something that is your background. You don't have to have, you can have a plain background. You can go get a colorful background. You can have natural lighting and create your room background. Um, It's all up to you. It's whatever is you what makes you comfortable that you can get up and consistently get up and do videos every day do it okay um so like i said i'll be using my iphone a plus another thing that you guys can use another thing that you can use and people always try to tell people that they can order stuff off our amazon as far as a ring light yeah you can um but please check your local ross Okay, check your local DD's discount, check your local Marshalls, TJ Maxx, because literally I get City Trends. I got this from City Trends. This is like a little light, but the light is like exposure, okay? Like the light in a dark room, it will light me up, okay? And then this is where you hold your phone. You can hold it like this, or you can turn it sideways and it hold it vertically. But we, if you're gonna do it for YouTube, you definitely want it to be able to be horizontal. But yes, I got this from City Trends and it was only $9.99, okay? It has like the little lights that you can, you know, fix the light and all that. It's it's a box, it's Amazon what, okay? 
So hey you guys, as I was telling you earlier, I got this little ring pod. Uh, it's a really cool, neat light. Um, and I got it from City Trends for $9.99. So a good $10, which is a great buy. Um, it really is bright. It lights up just about any area. Um, you can clamp it onto a table, a school desk, anything that you can set it up on to hook. It is good to go. Put your phone and get your YouTube started. And then even, but again, of course, the original, you can get your little original start off 10 inch ring light. You know, this one actually comes with the phone holder in and you can change it sideways or um, upright and you put your phone in it. And you, I have all types of these, so but this one didn't actually come with it. A longer one, like a little bit that way, came, it, it was about this long, came with it. Um, however, yeah, like you can use this one as well. If you want to like have a room where you're like kind of sitting in the dark and you just kind of only want to light up the room where it's only focused on you, a ring light is a good target. Um, it's just all about having that natural light or just having a light where people can see you, you know, where the, the focal point is you. And so um, you do not have to have all this expensive equipment. You do not have to have all that. I have a Sony camera and I use absolutely none of my videos on it. I use my videos only with my phone. And the reason why I don't even use my Sony is because my Sony doesn't even turn towards me. Like mine's is only where I would have to put a mirror in front of it to see what I look like. So I would still end up having to use my phone so I can see myself. Um, but however, I I use my phone and you guys love me just as well as being on my phone then I would be on the camera. So it's just all about having that natural light, knowing what you want to bring as far as videos, like inf informative or, you know, fashion. It could be makeup, it could be jewelry, it could be anything that is you, your niche. You could just start videos and, you know, start creating videos that, you know, are suitable for you, that people, it will attract people to your channel. Um, also, be consistent. I know it's funny to say but it's funny because I'm saying it and I'm still just sitting in my little subscribers but I'm a I am a believer and I'm very faithful to whatever you put in is what's going to give out so it's like if you're not producing any videos you're not going to have any subscribers if you're only putting out one video every three months you're you're probably not even going to get one subscriber because they're going to know that you're not being consistent. They subscribe to you and they see that you still didn't post a video that you said you post videos every Thursday or you said that you post videos. Like, so you want to be consistent because your, your loyal base fans and your subscribers, the ones that really love you are going to be like, okay, she said that she posts every Sunday. Sis, it's Sunday. Okay, like, baby, <laughs> it's Sunday. So, um, just really, you know, just really be consistent on, you know, your videos, what you're going to post. Um, and just really just being honest and open with your things. Don't fake to be like anybody else. Be yourself. I'm being myself in anything and everything, period. And all in all, be yourself when you create your YouTube. I know you guys probably sit around and watch other YouTubers and think they have this brilliant personality. However, just be yourself. Be, people will naturally fall in love with you. And when you're being yourself, you will build a natural and genuine following because those people naturally grasp to you from since day one. And that's all that matters. So I hope this video was informative and helpful to you. Like I said, class was in session and baby, y'all graduated, period. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please comment down below. Turn on that bell for the post notifications so you can know when your girl is back on your screen. And that's all I have for now. Now, go be a YouTube star. Bye. Next time on The Monroe Show. Good morning, Ting. I think I can do something special for you. Ow! people in the back girl do something <laughs> special girl please do something special girl because my heart needs done okay so what time you want me to come in um what to say around noon today around noon okay i'll be there at 11 30. bye I only want to show y'all what my hair look like my hair is a mess it's dry like i want to cut it off like it's so crazy like i didn't even care i said girl i will pay you extra like just Give me this popping curls experience, boo, because baby girl, I need my hair done.